I honestly don't know where to begin with this one. Let me introduce you to Snow White. This guitar is a made in Japan Charvel SoCal with a bunch of different modifications. I bought it second hand from a shop called Code Music in Stevenage. Uh, it was the second Charvel I ever got. It was modified with Zach Wild EMGs. I bought the guitar like this. I didn't put them in myself. And it was all round what I thought was the bargain of the century it turned out to be a bit of a disaster at first. I got the guitar, as I say, from Coda Music. Came with the SKB case, as all Japanese Charvels did at the time. I couldn't believe it, it was broken. And we're talking really broken. Pickup switch was broken. Volume knob was stuck all the way up. It wouldn't even turn round. The neck pickup was the only one that worked. The bridge pickup didn't seem to really do anything. And I was really, really sad. I was so excited to play this guitar. I mean, it had the Zach Wild EMGs in. Zach Wild's one of my heroes. In the end, I had to wait for about three months to save up the money again to get it fixed. So all of the electrics were replaced. It was set up properly, and I've never touched it again since because it is an absolute mean machine. I love it. It's the only guitar I own that's tuned down a whole step. So it's my Motley Crue machine. And also in terms of its looks, it's got a lot of stuff going on. There's a bit of Jim Root. There's a bit of Jakey Lee, there's a bit of Van Halen, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. Oddly enough, this is the guitar everybody wants to buy off me as well. The amount of Instagram messages I've had about this guitar saying, if you ever sell that, let me know, I wanna buy it. I, it's really weird, I have no idea why. As you can see, the guitar is relicked. I thought one day, it's my day off, I'm gonna go and take some sandpaper and make this guitar look a million years old. Did it, messed it up, Showed it to my dad, who told me off, rightfully so, and basically said, Cam, idiot, why? And he was right. So what ended up happening is, is we can't repaint it, or we could, but let's not. Instead, let's try and imitate uh, what a guitar should look like when it's Relic. So we ended up bringing up a load of pictures uh, of basically some custom shop Charvels that we like the look of, and modeled it after, uh, I think it was a, a taxi cab yellow Sandemus or something that the Music Zoo sold. So that's what this guitar was made to look like in terms of its relicking. And then the stickers went on afterwards because in short, I'd ruined the guitar. Let's ruin it some more. <laughs> so I ended up um, getting some playing cards. I thought they looked really, really cool at the time. They blended perfectly when I first got them. It looked as though they were painted on like a graphic or something. But uh, I also got the Manchester B on it as well it's my nearest big city so i ended up putting that on there as well one thing i took away from doing all of this is do not relic guitars if you have a guitar that has got a really thick glossy finish on it or was a again a really thick finish like on this do not touch it for god's sake please don't it's one way to massively butcher the sale value of a guitar i mean this guitar i'm telling you isn't worth anything now because of what i did to it and if you want to have a guitar that looks relic or something like that, buy a guitar that's got a nitrocellulose finish on it or something. It's really thin paint and it will happen on its own. And every single knock or dint you put in it will have a story attached to it. Like, oh, I did that at this gig. Oh, I dropped this on it at one time and that's what happened or whatnot. Far more interesting than confessing how much of an idiot you were by doing this when you were a teenager. Bear that in mind if you like relic guitars. Although I'm not a huge fan of active pickups, this thing sounds like something else. I mean, I love the way it cleans out, it's great for riffing, and all around, it is a really, really gorgeous beast. I love it, and everyone who plays it does as well. There you go, Snow White. <laughs>
Thanks very much for watching this week's episode of Guitar of the Week. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure you hit the like button if you're enjoying this series. I'm really loving making them. There is another episode coming up next week. I try to upload them every Friday if possible. If you want to find out what next week's episode is about, you're going to have to subscribe and be there then. There is a clue in this video as to what the next guitar is, but other than that, you'll have to find out. See you then. Bye-bye. Take care.